Hey, how we doing everybody? Chris Boutel here with Titan Uprising. Thank you for watching the video today. I appreciate all the support. Please like, subscribe, and share these videos. My goal here is 100 subscribers by the end of April. That's right around the corner. If you guys can make that happen, that'd be awesome. Just wanna hit 100 and then go up from there. I'm gonna keep these videos coming. I hope you guys enjoy them and like them. I appreciate the feedback in the comments. I try to answer all comments because I just appreciate, like I said, the feedback, I love it. Uh, I like communicating with you guys. Uh, this is my final mock draft before the real draft is tomorrow. And with this mock draft, I stood put. Um, I didn't do any trade backs. I didn't do any trade ups. Uh, I stayed with the six picks we currently own. And I am really happy with this actually, uh, how it shook out. And let me know what you guys think here. Uh, we'll dive right into it. So round one, uh, pick 11, took Paris Johnson Jr. Uh, tackle out of Ohio State. He's 6'6", 313 pounds. And then just to let you guys know, I did use Pro Football Network for this, and they have a write-up on, on the, many, many of the top draft picks here. But when you get into the later rounds, they don't have anything on those guys. But they do on Paris Johnson, of course. So like I said, he's 6'6", 313, tackle out of Ohio State. And the write-up I have here on him is attached to Johnson's lengthy levers are a pair of powerful paws. The Ohio State offensive tackle flashes violence in his hands that frequently results in his opponent being snapped backward or simply shoved to the ground. While there's menace and malice, there are also finesse elements to his handwork. The 2023 NFL Draft prospect has shown the ability to redirect his hands and to be impactful even when his initial placement isn't 100% accurate. So he can he can make up for it if he doesn't, and he can and he get quicker recovery is how I'm interpreting that, and that's awesome. And I agree with that when I watch his film. This guy's great. Uh, I'll keep going here. In addition to a powerful punch, Johnson so showcases grip strength. Once he's latched onto an opponent, it's rare to see them be able to disengage. There are multiple examples in the game study where the Ohio State offensive tackle latches, maintains engagement, and drives his opponent into the parking lot. This was apparent against varying shapes and sizes of defensive adversaries. Johnson displays good leg drive in this regard. I agree. He's powerful. He has the finesse. He can make up um, for a bad drop back. I've seen it. Uh, this guy's great. I I want him to fall to us. I'm not sure if he actually does. I, I, I don't know if he's there at 11. I hope he is. If it's quarterback heavy like this mock draft was where the top four quarterbacks were gone by pick eight, um, he can be there like this mock draft did. So uh, if we take him, guys, we got him at left tackle for the next decade. We got NPF at right tackle. Uh, if you guys remember, NPF was Ohio State. These guys play together. So we have the Ohio State bookend tackles here. I am very happy with this pick, and I know he's a, a fan favorite, so I know you guys are as well. So our round two pick, pick 41 overall, I took linebacker Trenton Simpson out of Clemson. He's 6'2", 235. And I'll read the bio here, and I'm popping these up on the screen as well. When you watch Simpson's tape, you have to play a bit of Where's Waldo before each snap. On any given play, Simpson could be in the box, in the slot, off the edge, or even at deep safety. But what makes Simpson so valuable isn't his ability to line up all over the field. It's his ability to dominate all over the field. Love it. Uh, we pair him up with Aziz Alshier, and then we have Monte, Ra Monte Rice uh, via LB3. I'm happy with that. Our linebacker core is solidified. Uh, this is also a guy that has visited extensively at the combine with the Tennessee Titans. He visited with Titans and Giants. So we obviously have interest in this guy. And that's that's a Vrabel and a Carthon guy, right? He's, uh, he's versatile. He can go all over the place. And that's what we're looking for. That's what we've done in free agency. Uh, I think if he's there at... Our second round pick at pick 41, we take him. Round three, pick 72 overall. I took wide receiver Jonathan Mingo out of Ole Miss. I hope this guy's here as well. Uh, he's been getting a lot of uh, buzz here coming up to the draft. And hey, the last time we took a wide receiver out of Ole Miss, it worked out pretty well, right? Um, sucks that that guy's no longer here, but let me know who we're talking about, but you know. If we can hit get Mingle here, uh, maybe we can do a little redemption for letting that guy off the table. 
or off the off the roster, I should say. So the little bio they have here, he's 6'1", 220, elite catcher of the football with adept ball tracking, control, timing, and coordination. Routinely secures passes with hands and makes effortless, high-difficulty adjustments. Flashes surgical foot speed, pacing, and sharp flexibility through breaks as a separator. Love it. Love it. This guy's a specimen, guys. He's a good yak guy. Really impressive. We miss that in the offense. We pair him with Burks, and that's a great wide receiver one-two punch. And I am thrilled with this pick. I am thrilled with this draft so far. And we do not have a round four pick thanks to the Julio Jones trade. So we go right into round five here. Pick 147 overall. I took Jarrett Patterson, center out of Notre Dame. I almost took Andrew Voorhees here, but he tore his ACL at the combine. And if you guys remember, he was benched, right? I think it was the most for an offensive lineman. He put up, that, that just shows guts, man. That's why I wanted to take Voorhees. I think he's going to be great next year, but we need somebody this year. We need to avoid the injuries. Uh, we're Titans fans here. We know what the injuries are all about. We've been dealing with them for two years, and I had to avoid the injuries. We need to draft healthy guys, okay? So I, I took Jarrett Patterson. So, like I said, he's a center out of Notre Dame. He's 6'5", 306 pounds. And the bio they have here on him is Patterson is a good athlete. But beyond that, he's also just a good football player. Notre Dame center plays with a great pad level. He's able to lower his shoulders and attain superior leverage on a regular basis. Additionally, Patterson has the lean to maximize his reach, even if this length isn't elite. Moving further... Patterson generally brings urgency as a mover, and he's a high-effort blocker who emanates energy. Sounds like a variable guy, right, guys? He keeps his hands and feet active when awaiting contact, levying powerful extensions, and employing fast hands in one-on-one -on -one situations. His eyes are constantly up and alert, and he always seeks out extra work when available for help. Variable guy again. Uh, high motor, looking to get his hands on somebody else, going to finish through the whistle, finish through the play. Love it. Uh, with this here, we have our center of the future and we took our left tackle of the future. I think Patterson could be a starter in the NFL. Uh, the only knock on him, I, you know, I, I see people always say centers, you don't want them to be too tall. Six, five might be too tall. I just want a good center guys. Um, you know, and hopefully you don't have a five eleven quarterback back there throwing the ball. So, you know, cause that could actually, that ends up being an issue. And that's why people, uh, a lot of scouts and stuff tend to not like centers that are too tall. But I like this guy. Let him compete. I think he beats out Brewer. And if we have a fifth-round pick, end up being a starter or a center for us, I'll take it all day, guys. Uh, round six, 186 overall pick. I took tight end Will Mallory out of uh, Miami. Tight end is deep at this, in this year's draft, guys. It's deep. And... I think this guy could be a nice compliment to Burt or to Chickaconquil. And I think he he's a good blocker as well. He also had the fastest 40 time in the draft this year. Uh, he ran a 4-5-4. Four, four. Uh, this guy's fast. He can catch. He can block. Um, big fan, big fan. I think this would be a uh, um, I think this would be a good pick for us and solidify our tight end group. And then we do have not have to worry about tight end this offseason after this. I'm just, I was happy with this pick. Like I said, deep, deep tight end class. Uh, round seven, pick 228. I took Jake Moody, kicker out of Michigan. I want someone to compete with Caleb Shudak, and I think Moody will just outright beat him. It's been 20 years since Michigan had a kicker select in the NFL draft, but hey, Moody's Moody's not your average kicker, guys. He's a five year guy out of Michigan. Uh, he appeared in 60 games over his career, uh, serving as a police kicker in 40. Uh, he owns program records for points, field goals, 40 plus yard field goals, and he tied most 50 plus yard field goals at four. And he went a perfect 148 for 148 on extra points. Extra points aren't a gimme anymore, guys. So I'll take it. Uh, I don't want this guy to I don't want this guy falling out of the draft into the undrafted free agency pool and then we can't get him. I also don't think he falls out of the draft at all. I think he goes in the seventh round this year. Maybe somebody shocks us and takes him in the sixth, but I don't see that happening. But it's the draft anything can happen. But like I said, I think this guy gets drafted. But like if he doesn't, he can go anywhere he wants, undrafted free agent. So 
I want to get him seventh round pick. We wasted seven round picks on uh, Cole McDonald, right? Uh, how he how he pan out? So use him, use on a kicker. Uh, we get him. We have our, our kicker and punter for the next decade plus. So I'm happy with this draft. I'm happy. The cherry on top is uh, getting moody with our seventh round pick. So what do you guys think? Uh, I'll go over real quick again. Round one, Paris Johnson, our future left tackle for the next decade. Uh, round two, Trenton Simpson, linebacker. He's all on all over the place guy. He can play any role. He's a variable guy. Uh, round three, I took Jonathan Mingo. He's going to be our uh, one-two punch with uh, Burks. And he'll be something like we had at our last Ole Miss product. Round four, we didn't have a pick. Round five, <clears throat> excuse me. Took Jared Patterson, center out of Notre Dame. Now, this guy can compete with Aaron Brewer. Hopefully, we beat him out because I don't want him being our center. Uh, round six, I took Will Mallory, tight end out of, out of Miami. Fast guy, got some speed to him. Obviously, the fastest 40 in the draft. Uh, he can catch, he can block. Uh, I think this guy ends up being uh, a good compliment to Burks, or sorry, to, to Chickaconquil. And um, I think we have a new uh, nice one two tight end punch, just like we're going to have a nice wide receiver one-two punch out of this draft class. Uh, our seventh round pick, I took Jake Moody, kicker out of Michigan. And like I said earlier, we have our special teams set at punter and kicker for the next decade. So let me know what you guys think about this. I'm happy with this draft. If this is how it shook out, I would be ecstatic. I think it fills a lot of holes. Obviously, it's heavy offense because our offense is in need of help. Obviously, with this, we are most likely having Tannehill at quarterback for our last season. We have a boatload of cap next year. Um, we have more picks next year thanks to some of the comp compensatory picks we'll be getting uh, projected to get next year. So maybe we move up, take our quarterback next year. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, and tighten up, guys. I'm excited for this draft. I really am. It's going to be an interesting draft. I'm so excited for it. I haven't, ex I haven't been this excited for a draft in a long time. Um, I'm pumped for it. We could do anything. Anything. I can see us trading back. I can see us trading up. I, I can see us taking a quarterback. I can see us not taking a quarterback. I am super excited for this draft. Um, I can't wait. Probably not getting any freaking sleep tonight, guys. I, like I said, I'm pumped. I've been looking at mock drafts left and right. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this mock draft. I enjoyed doing it. Uh, give me some feedback. Let me know what you guys think, and we'll talk soon. And uh, I'll post some videos after the draft, so tighten up, guys.